Tsutomu Nihei is one of the most interesting sci-fi mangaka that exists today. His worlds are in dire straits, dark visions of an oppressive future that teach us about ourselves. Reading a Nihei manga is more akin to flipping through an art book than anything else, and he truly makes a compelling case for manga's potential as a black and white medium. Here's 5 things you need to know about the author of Blam and Knights of Sidonia, Tsutomu Nihei. A lot of mangaka talk about starting out when they were kids, drawing just like their favourite jump authors, but not Nihei. He had read jump manga as a kid, but his actual motivation was when he was in his 20s, didn't like working as a group, and figured he could make money drawing manga. He's a practical guy, so he gave himself a year, and realising you can draw from anywhere, he spent a year in New York, pitching his work while making friends. He pitched to Jump and Young Magazine, but didn't get anywhere. Then when he returned to Japan, he pitched to a whole bunch of publishers, and he got rejected all over again. It's only when he approached Kodansha's monthly afternoon magazine that he managed to win a prize and get a serialisation. And they clearly made the right choice. Nihei is internationally renowned with plenty of awards. Before working in manga, Nihei was in construction, but as I mentioned before, didn't like working as a group, and so sought a solo career. After he returned from New York, he spent some time working part-time at an architecture firm, and these incidental jobs ended up having a big impact. While he's always seeking to create things that don't exist in reality, his understanding of the fundamentals of illustrating and creating buildings has been a massive part of his work, particularly within the megastructure that is Blam. Blam is weird for a manga in that it features very little dialogue. It was written more as a passion project than something commercially viable, and instead focused on the strength of Nihei's art as the protagonist explores a mechanical city that never ends. However, for his next work, Knights of Sidonia, he wanted to make something with a wider appeal. It's still a dystopian sci-fi, but this time it has characters and dialogue along with cool mecha battles. It got an anime adaptation in 2014 from Polygon Pictures, and as a natural extension of that, they went back and created a film out of Blam as well. Nihei was so pleased with Polygon's work that they created a joint venture together titled TOA Heavy Industries. The purpose is for the two to work together in expanding Nihei's work and worlds into different mediums, including anime. Their latest collaboration is the film releasing today, Knights of Sidonia, the star where love is spun. Sidonia was actually Polygon's first work creating their own anime, so the film is also a way of seeing how they've grown. Thanks to the long collaboration between the creators, this is an original story not based on the manga, supervised by Nihei. The film is a departure from the original story, but Nihei has talked about wanting to create a season 3 to the show in the past. TOA Heavy Industries ensures that he'll be collaborating with Polygon Pictures a lot more, but Polygon is also very busy, with its director Hiroyuki Seshita struggling to make time for it. He also encouraged fans to watch Sidonia and Blam. There is a 6 year gap in between the end of season 2 and the film's release, so it does show that as long as people are wanting to see more Sidonia, it'll happen. Feel free to subscribe to find out more about the art and creation of Japanese pop culture.